Hi, this is Darcy Blue. I'm in the mountains today and looking at some plants that grow at higher elevations in the desert. What you see in front of us here is desert vervain. Um, I just call it vervain because it's the only one that grows here, but there's another vervain used in herbal medicine, verbena hostata, which is blue vervain. And this here used to be classified as verbena, but has now been reclassified by botanists as a glandularia, that's the genus name. And there's three different species in the southwest, primary species, and they all interbreed and cross hybridize. This is um, glandularia, not goodingii, but that's one of them. There's glandularia, goodingii, mcduglii, and bracteata, I think. Anyway, this they're all useful and all interchangeable as far as their uses for medicinal purposes. Vervain is my personal favorite ally and nervine for women who tend to push themselves too hard, drive themselves really hard, and never give themselves a break. Type A personalities, they don't get enough sleep, they're stressed out all the time, they're tense, you can tell. They hold their shoulders really tense or they get tension headaches from holding the tension in their shoulder and neck. So vervain is fantastic for those women and men too who tend to get really cranky, irritable, and bitchy, so to speak, when they get overworked and overtired and stressed out. And vervain helps to take the edge off when you feel like biting somebody's head off. Um, this is great for PMS grumpiness. Um, stressed out, grumpiness, anxiety, and as a general tonic for people who are stressed out. It does help with insomnia. Um, I find it particularly useful for insomnia. And it's also a fantastic um, herb for the digestion. It's a very bitter herb, and I like to give it as a tea or in a tincture form for people who are stressed out and it's causing them digestive troubles. It's also fantastic as a galactagogue to help mothers produce and relax so they can nurse their ch child. And used as a hot tea, it's a diaphoretic for fevers that are hot and tense. So people who are red faced and tight and tense curled up in a ball when they have a fever. This vervain is very relaxing will help them to calm down, help them sweat out the fever and the illness. This is vervain, glandularia. And you can see sort of the flowers, these beautiful purple flowers. opposite leaves you probably can't tell in the picture but there's a lot of hairs on these plants and these hairs can be a little irritating to the skin they're not like stinging but they get in the skin and make it itch so if you harvest vervain be aware that it might make your skin itch once it's made into tea or tincture it's fine it doesn't cause any problems that's for vain.